everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Before I get started on today's video recipe, just wanted to take the time and wish each and every one of you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's. Thank you so, so much for all your love and support and for making 2017 an incredible year. And I'm super excited about 2018 because my cookbook is coming out March 13th. I finally got a copy in the mail last week. Let me tell you guys, this book is so gorgeous. It came out way way better than i ever imagined i'm super excited i wish i could show you guys all the beautiful pictures and recipes on the inside now if you haven't pre-ordered this book yet just head down to my video description box i'll leave a few links for where you can pick this book up and now on to today's recipe i'll be making my domed trifle cake with kiwi and strawberry this cake is just so fun unique and different it's perfect for the holiday season we can really enjoy it year round for the cake base on the inside i'll be using my basic sponge cake recipe I just prepared it in a jelly roll pan and I'll include this recipe down in the video description box below. Now onto my fillings. I'll be making a creamy custard filling and a light and fluffy cheesecake filling in the inside. Layer all these different fillings in the cake along with kiwi and strawberry and this cake is just so easy and super fun to make. First up, let's make that creamy custard filling. So I have two large egg yolks in my mixing bowl. To this, I'm going to add in half a cup of white granulated sugar, and then just give this a vigorous whisk for about three to four minutes. You want the egg yolks and sugar to become a thick paste, really pale in color. This should ribbon off of your uh, whisk. And this consistency is looking great. I'm going to set this aside for now. Into a separate saucepan, I'm going to pour in one and a half cups of milk. And to help thicken our custard, I'm going to add one tablespoon of cornstarch. Give that a whisk and then heat this over medium high heat until that milk is hot and steaming but not boiling. And once that milk is heated, I'm going to temper it into the egg yolk mixture. Just add a little bit at a time and then give it a good whisk after each addition. And then pour the two combined mixture back into the saucepan. And I'm going to heat this over medium heat, stirring constantly with a rubber spatula so the custard doesn't burn on the bottom. And just cook this for about four to five minutes until the custard thickens. And cook the custard until it holds its shape really well on the back of a spoon. You can run something through it. When it holds its shape, you know it's ready. I'm gonna take this off the heat. Next, add in half a cup of unsalted butter. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Give that a whisk until that butter is completely melted and then cover this with some plastic wrap, place it into the refrigerator and allow it to cool completely. Into my mixer bowl, I'm going to add in three cups of heavy cream. Add in about a cup of confectioner's sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna give this all a whisk on medium high speed for about four to five minutes until you get a light and fluffy whipped cream. In a separate mixing bowl, I've softened 12 ounces of cream cheese. To that, I'm going to add in half a cup of uh, unsalted softened butter. Grab my hand mixer and mix this all together for a few minutes until uh, the cheese and the butter are well combined and smooth. Next, pour in one cup of melted white chocolate chips and then give this another mix for a couple more minutes just to make sure that that chocolate is well incorporated. and then add that cream cheese, butter, and white chocolate mixture to the whipped cream. And give this a whisk on high speed for about a minute until the frosting is super fluffy. And before assembling the trifle, I'm going to prep my sponge cake. So I took it out of the pan. I'm going to soak it generously with some dessert wine. You can also use some non-alcoholic fruity juice. This is a peach and grape wine and it tastes so good. The aroma of the peach is just phenomenal. Make sure you soak those edges. Just want the uh, sponge cake to be moist and flavorful. And then grab a long serrated knife and cut the sheet cake into small bite-sized pieces. And now I have everything ready to put this incredible cake together. My sponge cake is soaked. While my custard was cooling, I prepped my fruit. I sliced about uh, four to five kiwis. I have a box of strawberries sliced up. Now for putting the cake together, you're going to need a large bowl. This one is about 10 and a half inches across. What I did was just line the bottom of it and the sides with plastic wrap. Just make sure that you can pull that plastic wrap around the edges. 
We're going to use this to assemble the cake and then I have my custard ready, my whipped cream ready, and now let's put it all together. To get that fruit design on the outside, I'm going to start layering the fruit from the bottom. So grab a few slices of kiwi and strawberry and just start layering around the edges. I've transferred some of that whipped cream frosting into a pastry bag and today I'm using uh, Wilton tip number 789. It just makes this process of uh, spreading some of that frosting over the fruit really easy. So I'm just gonna pipe it over the top. And then grab a little spatula and press that cream in between the slices of fruit. They're well sealed and they stay in place. And the rest of this process is super easy because now all you have to do is just layer in the sponge cake, the custard, the fruit, and the cream. That was so much fun to put together. Now before I place this into the refrigerator, I'm gonna pull that plastic up from the sides and then just wrap the top. Just gonna to gently press that down. And I'm going to add some extra plastic on top and then this is ready to go into the refrigerator. I'm gonna let it chill for at least four hours or if you have the time, make it the day before and let it sit there overnight. And now for the fun part, it's time to reveal our cake. So once it's set in the refrigerator, just gently remove the plastic off the top. And I'm going to invert my cake stand right on top. This is just gonna make things so much easier. And we're gonna flip this over. And then just pull back all these layers of plastic to reveal that beautiful cake on the inside. Isn't this stunning? Look how festive it looks too. It's perfect for the holiday season. Time to cut into this cake and see what it looks like on the inside. I suggest grabbing a serrated knife, which is going to cut through all that fruit much better. And check out the inside of this cake. You have this gorgeous arrangement of fruit on the outside and the inside you can see the sponge cake layers, little bits of fruit, that custard, and more whipped cream. Time to dig in and enjoy this. Seriously though, how gorgeous is this cake? This one makes into the top 10 of my all-time favorite. It was really fun to make and I love the arrangement of fruit on the outside. Now it's time to dig in and enjoy this. Love all that fruit and this just looks so light and fluffy even before I dig in and give this a try. Mmm. Wow, this is incredible. This cake is so light and heavenly. It tastes like a sweet and fluffy cloud. I'm not even kidding you. It is just melts in your mouth. That fluffy whipped cream frosting combined with that creamy custard. And that sponge cake is just so light and it's been soaked with that peach juice. It tastes just phenomenal. Add that fruit in there and you have got yourself one of the most incredible cake creations. If you're looking for a new and unique cake to serve at your next dinner uh, gathering or if you wanna make it for Christmas for the holiday season, this is the cake for you. Just head down into my video description box. You'll find a link for this full recipe down there and you'll also find a link for where you could pre-order my cookbook. Thank you guys again for a fantastic 2017 and I'll see you next time.